Hello. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the mid-chapter checkpoint for chapter three. Okay. So explain how to find 40 times 50 using mental math. Well, we have talked about some different strategies, but why don't we think of 50 as five tens? Think of 50 as five tens. So 40 times five tens. 40 times five tens. And so five times four is 20. So we have 200 tens or 2,000. And what is the first step in estimating 56 times 27? Well, we're either going to round both factors to nearest 10, or you could use compatible numbers. with rounding. So I could make it 60 times 25. And if I was rounding, it would be 60 times 30. Okay, So either method would work. So those are the first steps. So I would round or I would use compatible numbers in rounding. All right, number three, 35 times 10. Choose a method and then find the product. Um, so 35 times 10. Well, I'm just going to say that that's 35 times 1, 10. 35 times 1 is 35. So 35 tens, 350. Number 4, 19 times 20. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know, for this method we might draw the boxes. And we'd have 10 going down, uh, break up the 19 as 10 and 19, and going across the top we'd have 20 and actually 0, right? So then our 10s would be 20 times 2, 10 is 200, 9 times 20 is 180, 10 times nothing is nothing, and 9 times 0 is 0. So then we can add 200 plus 180, get 380. Again, these are just some methods. You, the methods uh, can vary. You, you could use the methods that are that you're most comfortable with. Okay, so number 5, 12 times 80. Okay. So if we had 80 times 12, I could think of this as 10 times 8 tens. I could think of it as 10 times 0 ones, 2 times 8 tens, and 2 times 0 ones. So 10 times 8 tens is 80 tens or 800. 10 sets of 0 is 0. 2 sets of 8 tens is 16 tens or 160. And 2 sets of 0 ones is 0. And then we'd add that together. So 960. <clears throat> Number 6, 70 times 50. Okay, since they both end in zeros, I'm going to think of the 50 as 5 tens. Okay, so I got five sets of 70. So 5 times 7 is 35. So 350 
tens, which is equal to 3,500. Number seven, 58 times 40. Okay, I'm going to break this up and I'm going to use the uh, draw a model picture uh, for partial products, the area model. I'm going to break up 50 as 50 plus 8, and I'm going to break up 40 as 40 and 0. Okay, 5 times 4 is 20, and then there's two zeros from the tens. 50 times 0, 0. 8 times 40, 8 times 4 is 32, plus the one zero from the 10, and 8 times 0 is 0. So 2,000 plus 320. Why am I only adding two numbers? Because two of the products are zeros. So 2,320. Number eight, 30 times 40. Okay. This time, I'm just going to use the basic, basic math fact and math patterns. 4 times 3 is 12, and then I know there are two zeros in my both of my factors, so there must be two in my product, so 1,200. Number 9, 14 times 60. Fourteen times sixty. Okay, so <clears throat> we can break this up as sixty times one ten. Sixty times one ten is sixty tens or six hundred. Sixty times four ones. Six times four is twenty four, plus the zero from the six tens, so two hundred forty ones. And then we have zero sets of one tens. That's going to be zero. We have zero sets of four ones. That's also going to be zero. Add up our columns. Zero, four, eight. So 840. That's very simple. Number 10. 20 times 30. Okay, 20 times 30. I'm going to use the basic math fact. 3 times 2 is 6. And both of those have zeros in the, fa in the factors. So I have two zeros in my product. So 600. Number 11. Number 11 is 16 times 90. So we can break it up. Box 10 and 6, 90 and 0. 10 times 90 will be 900. And 90 times 6 is 540. And then 10 times 0 is 0, 6 times 0 is 0. So we only we have to add 900 and 540. 1,440. All right, number 21. Okay, for this section, we're going to estimate the product and choose a method. So I'm going to change 81 to 80, and I'm down. I'm going to round 81 down to 80, and I'm going to round 38 up to 40. 8 times 4 is 32, and there's two zeros, so place two zeros in the product. Number 13, I'm going to round 16 up to 20, and I'm going to round 59 up to 60. 2 times 6 is 12, and put the two zeros from the two factors. Forty-three. I'm going to round down to forty, and I'm going to leave the twenty-five. 
That's compatible numbers and rounding, right? So four quarters is 100, right? Plus the zero. So 1,000. Four quarters is 100, and there was a zero in the 40. Seven, 15, I'm going to round eight, 76 up to 80, and I'm going to round 45 up to 50. So 8 times 5 is 40, and I'm going to put the two zeros from the, two, from the zeros and the tens of both factors. So we have 4,000. Number 16, I'm going to round 65 up to 70, and I'll round 79 up to 80. I'm going to multiply the basic math fact. 8 times 7 is 56, and there are two zeros in my factors, so there will also be two zeros in my product. All right, 92 would get rounded down to 90 and 38 would get rounded up to 40. The basic math fact is 9 times 4, which is 36. And then there are two zeros, so there needs to be two zeros in my product. Okay, number 18, 37 times 31. I'm going to round 37 up to 40 round 31 down to 30, and 4 times 3 is 12, two zeros in my factors, two zeros in my product. 19, I'm going to use compatible numbers, about the fact that 26 is close to 25, and 59, that's close to 60. So this time we have 6 quarters, and 6 quarters is 150, or $1.50. So 150 plus the zero from the 10. So $1,500. 54 gets rounded down to 50. And I'm going to use quarters for the 26. Five quarters is $1.25. So 125 and put the zero from the 50. Okay, 21. I'm going to round 52 down to 50, and I'll round 87 up to 90. 5 times 9 is 45, and put the two zeros from the factors in my product. 39, I'm going to round up to 40, and I'm going to use 25 for the 27. So 4 quarters is 100. Put the 0 from the 40. So 1,000. I'm going to write that again. 1,000 for number 22. 23. I'm going to round 63 down to 60. I'm going to round 58 up to 60. 6 times 6 is 36, and I'm going to place the two zeros from the factors in my product. Okay, let's move on to page 122, number 24. Ms. Trainer's class has taken a field trip to the zoo. The trip will cost $26 for each student. There are 22 students in her class. What is a good estimate for the cost? So I don't need to find an exact answer. We know that it's going to be $26 for each student, and there are 22 students. So 26 times 22. So 26 is in between 20 and 30. So 20 times 22, 30 times 22. So 22 is close to 20. 
So I know my answer should between, be between roughly 400 and 600. So if I round 26 up to 30 and round 22 down to 20, I would get about $600. So that's a reasonable estimate. Okay, 25. Tito wrote the following on the board. What is the unknown number? So 50 times 80 is the same as 50 times 8 times 10. 50 times 8 times 10. So he's using the associative property. So 50 times 8, 5 times 8 is 40. Put the one zero from the 50. So our missing number is 400. What are the pro partial products that result from multiplying 15 times 32? Okay. So 10 times 3 tens. So that's 30 tens or 300. 10 times 2 ones is 20 ones. Five ones times three tens is fifteen tens, and five times two ones is ten ones. So our partial products are three hundred twenty, one fifty, and ten. So if we're doing this, uh, writing them out as multiplication problems. It would be 10 times 30 plus 10 times 2 plus 5 times 30 plus 5 times 2. Twenty seven. The cost of a ski lift ticket is $31. How much will 17 tickets cost? So $31 each, there are 17 tickets. So 31 times 17. All right, so we have 10 times 3 tens. So we get 30 tens, which is 300. We have 10 times the 1 ones is 10. We now have 7 ones times 3 tens gives us 21 tens, and we have 7 times 1, 1 is 7. Add up our place value columns, we get 7, 2 tens, and 500. So they will cost $527. So that's it for our review for Chapter 3. You will have a quiz on this information. So make sure you review the concepts, and until our quiz, may the numbers always be in your favor.